maging matiyagaan upang matuto dito sa aking channel, Sir Jones. Good day everyone! Hello once again to my channel. We are now on our week 6 lesson which is about interpreting the Jemdas rule and performing two or more different operations. In this lesson, we are going to find out the order of operation to simplify expressions. The order of operation means order in which steps must be done to simplify an expression. G-E-M-D-A-S Gemdas G is for grouping. Grouping symbols are parentheses, brackets, and braces. E is for exponents. MD, M is for multiplication, and D is for division. AS, A is for addition, and S is for subtraction. So, ito yung ating susundan mamaya. G, E, M, D, A, S. Or, sometimes, it is called as P, E, M, D, A, S. P for parentheses or any grouping symbols. Kagaya na nabanggit natin kanina like brackets and braces. Again, E for exponents. M, D, M for multiplication and D for division. And A, S, A for addition, and S for subtraction. Now, Jemdas or PEMDAS rule, if there are no parentheses in the expression, you are to multiply it uh, first and, or divide in order from left to right. Then add or subtract in order from left to right. Then after that, evaluate the exponents if there is any. Now, when parentheses or end or division bars are involved in an expression, first do all operations within the parentheses. Then do all operations above and below the division bars using standard order. So, tandaan lang natin, G-E-M-D-A-S or P-E-M-D-A-S are the same. Kumbaga, groupings and parentheses, pareho lang ang konsepto. Okay? So, now, when we say order of operations, again, it is a rule that tells us the sequence to follow when you are performing operations in mathematical expression. So, this is to avoid confusion or chaos in computing. Ano? So, talagang chaos, ha? parang ang gulo-gulo, parang away ba? Hindi naman. So, ito lang yung magsiset sa atin ng uh, tamang pagkakasunod-sunod on how we can compute, let's say, certain problems involving uh, two or more operations. Ano? So, again, sabi natin, do P, parentheses, or any grouping symbols, then E, exponent, you need to evaluate, then do M or D, multiplication or division from left to right, so that is moving from left to right. Lastly, do addition or subtraction moving from left to right. So, yan lang ang ating tatandaan. The PEMDAS, MDAS, I mean GEMDAS, MDAS rule. Okay? So, let us now begin. Learning task number one. Evaluate the following expressions using GEMDAS or PEMDAS rule or simply MDAS. Pwede rin naman kung walang P or G and E. Okay? Now, problem number 1. 10 minus 2 plus 6 divided by 3. If you look at the problem, wala siyang P or G, parenthesis or grouping symbol involved. Next, wala rin naman siyang E or exponent. So, magpuproceed tayo sa M or D that is moving from left to right. Observe natin. So, meron tayong division symbol. Yun ay para sa 6 divided by 3. Okay? Now, if you continue, copy 10 minus 2, then plus. So, happen na 6 divided by 3 ay 2. So, your new problem now is 10 
minus 2 plus 2. Okay? Look at your problem, your new problem. Meron pa bang multiplication or division involved? So, wala na. Magpo-proceed ka na ngayon sa A or S, addition or subtraction. In this case, naon na ang subtraction, 10 minus 2. Then, copy, mamaya, tingnan natin, ano? So, what is 10 minus 2, by the way? So, the answer is 8, then copy, plus 2. Okay? And lastly, what is 8 plus 2? Of course, the answer is 10. So, this is our answer in problem number 1. Next, quantity 8 plus 2 minus the quantity 9 minus 2 squared. In this problem, meron tayong two parentheses. Ano? Parentheses. Now, pwede natin siyang isolve together kasi magkahiwalay naman sila dahil meron silang minus sign uh, sa pagitan. Okay? So, we can compute 8 plus 2 and at the same time, yung 9 minus 2 squared. So, tingnan natin. Ano ang mangyayari? 8 plus 2 is 10. Then, minus the quantity 9 minus 4. Saan ang galing yung 4? Yung 2 squared, ibig sabihin 2 times 2. And that is 4. Now, look at your new problem. It's 10 minus the quantity 9 minus 4. So, happened na yung 9 minus 4 ay nasa loob ng parenthesis. Kaya yun ang ating compute. So, we have now 10 minus 5. Saan ang galing ang 5? Sa 9 minus 4. And lastly, 10 minus 5, obviously, the answer is 5. So, yun ang sagot sa problem number 2. Next, problem number 3. 3 squared minus 15 divided by 5 plus the quantity 6 plus 4. Unahin natin, meron tayong parenthesis involved. Tama? Yun yung nasa loob ay 6 plus 4. Now, if you look at the problem, meron ding exponent involved. Dahil magkalayo naman yung parenthesis and exponent, pwede natin siyang isolve ng sabay. Ano? Pero kung gusto mo, unahin mo talaga yung parenthesis then to follow yung exponent. But in my case, since magkalayo naman, pagsasabayin ko na. Paano yun? Ito, 6 plus 4, alam natin yun, di ba? But 3 squared, ano kaya ang 3 squared? Yun. The answer is... 9. Pansin nyo? Isinabay ko na yung 3 squared. Kaya nagkaroon ng 9. Then, minus 15 divided by 5 plus the sum of 6 and 4 na 10. So, yun yung ating new problem. Now, meron pa bang parenthesis involved? Wala na. Exponent, wala na rin. So, proceed ka ngayon sa multiplication or division from left to right. Or that is moving from left to right. So, in this problem, meron kang division sign. Yun. So, uunahin natin yung 15 divided by 5. So, tingnan natin. Ang problem na ngayon ay 9 minus 3. Saan ang galing yung 3? Sa 15 divided by 5. Then, copy plus 10. Okay? Now, wala nang multiplication or division involved. Andito na tayo sa addition or subtraction procedure. So, tingnan natin. Nauna, yung 9 minus 3. And then, nasa huli pa lang yung plus 10. So, ibig sabihin, do 9 minus 3. And that is 6. Then, copy plus 10. So, lastly, ano ang 6 plus 10? Of course, the answer is 16. Okay? So, now, number 4. 5 plus 2 minus 3. Meron bang parenthesis? Wala. Meron bang exponent? Wala rin. Multiplication or division? Wala. O di madali, ibig sabihin, addition or subtraction ito. So, nauna ang 5 plus 2. So, sumunod pa lang yung minus 3. What is 5 plus 2? Of course, the answer is 7. Then, copy minus 3. So, what is 7 minus 3? The answer is 4. Tama? So, yun ang sagot sa problem number 4. Next, problem number 5. 20 minus 5 times 4 plus 1. So, tingnan natin. May parenthesis or grouping symbol. 
wala. Exponent, wala rin. So, do multiplication or division. So, in this case, meron tayong 5 times 4. So, punahin natin yan. Ano nga yun ang mangyayari? It is now 20 minus 20. Saan so, ang galing yung isang 20? Kasi nga, 5 times 4 is 20. Then, plus 1. Then, kasunod, 20 minus 20. Okay, uh, ano yung 20 minus 20? Well, the answer is 0. Then, copy, plus 1. And finally, ano ang 0 plus 1? Well, the answer is 1. So, yun ang sagot sa problem number 5. Madali, di ba? Ayos. Problem number 6. 8 times 2 minus 4 divided by 2 plus 6. Tingnan natin. Parenthesis or grouping symbol, wala. Exponent, wala. So, multiplication or division muna. Moving from left to right. In this case, meron tayong 8 times 2. So, ano ang 8 times 2? 16. Then, copy the remaining. Minus 4 divided by 2 plus 6. Next, tingnan ulit natin. Multiplication or division. In this case, meron kang 4 divided by 2. So, copy yung natira. Tingnan natin. 16 minus 2 plus 6. Saan ang galing yung 2? Sa 4 divided by 2. Now, 16 minus 2 plus 6. Wala nang multiplication or division. So, proceed ka na sa addition or subtraction. Well, nauna ang 16 minus 2. Okay? So, what is 16 minus 2? The answer is 14. Then, copy plus 6. And lastly, ano ang 14 plus 6? Of course, the answer is 20. Okay? Next, problem number 7. Negative 3 quantity squared minus 6 plus 3. Okay? So, meron bang parenthesis? Meron. Kasi nasa loob yung negative 3. Ano? Then, at the same time, naka-exponent pa siya. So, i-evaluate natin yung negative 3 to the second power or negative 3 squared. Okay? Anong ibig sabihin na negative 3 squared? That is negative 3 times negative 3. Of course, the answer is 9. Then, copy the remaining minus 6 plus 3. Meron bang involved na multiplication or division? Wala. So, do addition or subtraction. Mula sa kaliwa, pakanan. In this case, ano ang nangyari? 9 minus 6 ang nauna. Of course, 9 minus 6 is 3. Then, copy plus 3. And then, ano nga yun ang 3 plus 3? The answer is 6. Okay? Next, problem number 8. 9 times 8 minus 36 divided by 4. Meron bang parenthesis or grouping symbol? Wala. Exponent? Wala rin. So, multiplication or division. Well, ang naririto ay 9 times 8. Tama? Mula sa kaliwa, pakanan. So, ano ngayon ang 9 times 8? 72. Then, copy minus 36 divided by 4. If you look at the problem, ano ngayon ang gagawin mo? 72 minus 36 ba? O 36 divided by 4 muna? Yun. Yung 36 divided by 4 muna. Kasi nga, meron pang division symbol or operation involved. Okay? So, continue. 72 minus 9. Saan ang galing ang 9? Dun sa 36 divided by 4. And then, sa katapusan, ano ang 72 minus 9? Well, the answer is 63. And that is our answer dito sa problem number 8. Next problem, number 9. 3 plus 2 plus 8 divided by 4 times the quantity 4 minus 2. Tingnan natin. Parenthesis, check. Meron, di ba? 
kasi meron tayong 4 minus 2 na nasa loob. So, yun muna ang ating i-compute. Okay? Paano? Tingnan natin. Copy 3 plus 2 plus 8 divided by 4. Nagkataon, yung 4 minus 2 ay 2. So, it is now 3 plus 2 plus 8 divided by 4 times the quantity 2. Well, if you look at this problem, meron pa rin parenthesis involved. So, ibig sabihin, yun pa rin ang ipe-perform natin. Kung saan yung 2, imumultiply dun sa 4. Connected pa rin sila. So, ibig sabihin, yan ang inyong isosolve. Ano ngayon ang mangyayari? 3 plus 2 divided by 8. Ano? Plus 8, sorry. Divided by 8. Again, 3 plus 2 plus 8 divided by 8. Saan ang galing yung last 8? Dun sa 4 times 2. Okay? So again, paano nangyari sir yun? Sabi mo, moving from left to right, eh, dapat kung ano ang mauna, yun ang ipe-perform. Di ba na una sir yung division sa multiplication? Again, sabi ko nga kanina, nagkataon, connected pa rin yung 2 na nasa sa loob ng parenthesis. May parenthesis involved ka pa rin. Kaya, nauna dito, isolve yung 4 times 2. Claro? Okay. Now, let us continue. 3 plus 2 plus 8 divided by 8. Meron pa rin tayong division operation. So, ipe-perform natin siya. Tapos, ano mangyayari? It is now 3 plus 2 plus 1. Bakit namin naging 1? 8 divided by 8 is 1. And then, wala nang multiplication or division. Puro addition na lang. So, proceed tayo. 3 plus 2 muna. What is 3 plus 2? The answer is 5. And then, plus 1. So, ang katapusan, ang sagot natin should be 6. At kahit yan ay i-press ninyo sa scientific calculator, lalabas at lalabas na ang sagot ay 6. Okay? Problem number 10. 16 minus 6 squared plus 36. Parenthesis or any grouping symbols, wala. Exponent, meron. So, yun. 6 to the second power. So, i-evaluate muna natin yung exponent na yun. So, ipe-perform natin dito yung 6 squared muna. Anong mangyayari? 16 minus 36 plus 36. Saan ang galing yung unang 36? Doon sa 6 to the second power. Kasi nga, siya ay 6 times 6 ang ibig sabihin. Now, wala na bang multiplication involved or division? Wala na. So, perform addition or subtraction. In this case, 16 minus 36 muna. Okay. What is 16 minus 36? It is negative 20 plus 36. So, bakit naman naging negative 20? Kasi imposible na yung 16, bawasan mo ng 36. Kaya, ang sagot, negative 20. Ayos? Now, negative 20 plus 36, the answer is positive 16. So, this is our answer in problem number 10. By the way, itong pag-add uh, or pag-subtract ng numbers, ano, na kung saan ay nagkakaroon ng negative answer, ay i-elaborate natin kapag ang topic na natin ay integers. But for the meantime, so pwede natin munang gamitin si calculator for sure, ano, para alam ninyo kung ano talaga ang magiging kasagutan, kung siya ba ay positive or negative. Learning task number 2. Modified true or false. Problem 1. 10 minus 4 plus 9 divided by 3 equals 9. So, to solve this problem, dapat mapatunayan natin na yung left-hand side is equivalent to 9. Ano? Kapag na-solve natin yung mga operations involved dito sa kaliwa, dapat ang sagot ay 9. Para ang sagot mo ay true. Dahil kung hindi, well, ang sagot natin dapat ay false. So, tingnan natin. Yun lang kaliwa ha, ang ating isosolve. 10 minus 4 plus 9 divided by 3. Parenthesis or any grouping symbols, wala. Exponent, wala. So, multiplication or division. Merong division. 9 divided by 
3. So, let us continue. 10 minus 4 plus 3. Kita nyo? Saan nang galing yung 3? Sa 9 divided by 3 equals 9. Okay? Wala nang division, wala na rin multiplication. So, proceed tayo sa addition or subtraction. That is 10 minus 4. What is 10 minus 4? 6. So, plus 3 equals 9. And lastly, 6 plus 3. Ano ang 6 plus 3? 9 equals 9. Which is correct. Kaya ang sagot sa so number 1 ay true. Okay? Next. Problem number 2. Quantity 8 plus 2 minus the quantity 9 minus 2 squared is equal to 6. 6 nga ba yung tamang sagot sa so, nasa kaliwa? So, sabi natin kanina, katulad lang ito nung ating learning task number 1, pwedeng isolve yung 8 plus 2 and 9 minus 2 squared kasi nga magkahiwalay naman yung parenthesis nila. Okay. What is 8 plus 2? Well, it is 10. Tapos, sabi natin, instead of 9 minus 2 squared, magiging siyang 9 minus 4. Kasi nga, 2 squared ay 2 times 2, which is 4. Dahil may parenthesis involved, do 9 minus 4. So, that is 10 minus 5. So, nagkataon na ang 9 minus 4 ay 5. And lastly, 10 minus 5, the answer is 5. Is 5 equal to 6? Siyempre, hindi. Kaya naman, sa number 2 answer ay false. Okay? Next. Problem number 3. 3 squared minus 15 divided by 5 plus the quantity 6 plus 4 is equal to 16. Nakompute na rin natin ito kanina, pero syempre pa, balikan natin. Merong parenthesis, check, gawa ng 6 plus 4. At syempre, meron uling exponent na 2 doon sa 3. So, let us solve. Pwede kunin ang sum ng 6 plus 4 kasi nasa loob ng parenthesis. Pero, syempre pa, sabi natin, pwede rin namang isolve na yung 3 to the second power. So, ano mangyayari? 9 minus 15 divided by 5 plus 10. Okay? Let us continue. Wala ng parenthesis, wala ng exponent, pero merong division. So, that is 15 divided by 5. So, meron na tayong 9 minus 3 plus 10 is equal to 16. Tama? Saan ang galing ang 3? Sa 15 divided by 5. Now, wala ng division, wala ng multiplication, do addition or subtraction. Now, na ang 9 minus 3. So, 9 minus 3 ay 6, then plus 10 is equal to 16. So, 6 plus 10, anong sagot? Well, the answer is 16. And 16 equals 16. So, ang sagot sa so number 3 ay true. Okay? Next. Problem number 4. 5 plus 2 minus 3 is equal to 4. May parenthesis or grouping symbol ba? Wala. Exponent? Wala. Multiplication or division? Wala. So, do addition or subtraction. Nauna ang 5 plus 2. So, what is 5 plus 2? It is 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. What is 7 minus 3? The answer is 4. And 4 equals 4. Meaning, true is the correct answer. Next, problem number 5. 5 minus 5 times 4 plus 1 is equal to 1. Meron bang parenthesis or grouping symbol? Wala. Exponent? Wala. Multiplication or division, meron. 5 times 4. So, ibig sabihin, i-perform natin yon. So, it is now 5 minus 20 plus 1 is equal to 1. Meron pa bang multiplication or division involved? Wala na. So, do addition or subtraction. In this case, nauna ang 5 minus 20. What is 5 minus 20? The answer is negative 15. Muli, hindi pwedeng bawasan ng marami ang kakaunti. Kaya nagiging negative ang kasagutan. So, what is negative 15 plus 1? The answer is what? Negative 14. And obviously, negative 14 is not equal to 1. Diba? Kaya sa case na to, ang sagot ay false. Okay? 
Next, problem number 6. 2 times 2 minus 4 divided by 2 plus 4 is equal to 12. My parenthesis or grouping symbol, wala. Exponent, wala. Pero merong multiplication or division. Tama? So, tingnan natin. 2 times 2 muna. Unahin natin. What is 2 times 2? The answer is 4. So, minus 4 divided by 2 plus 4 is equal to 12. Meron pa tayong division sign. That is 4 divided by 2. So, magiging na itong 4 minus 2 plus 4 is equal to 12. Kasi nga, yung 4 divided by 2 is 2. Kaya nagkaroon ng 2. Now, wala na multiplication or division. Proceed tayo sa addition or subtraction. Naon na ang 4 minus 2. Okay? So, happen ang 4 minus 2 ay 2. And then, plus 4 is equal to 12. What is 2 plus 4? So, alam natin yon 6. Ang 6 ba ay equal sa 12? Siyempre pa, hindi. Ano nga yun sagot sa number 6? False. Okay? Problem number 7. Negative 3 to the second power minus 12 plus 2 is equal to negative 1. So, sa case na to, yung negative 3 ay naka-raise to the second power. Ibig sabihin, evaluate muna natin siya. Anong ibig sabihin ng negative 3 squared? Yun ay negative 3 times negative 3. And that is 9. So, we have now 9 minus 12 plus 2 is equal to negative 1. Wala nang multiplication or division. Wala nang exponent. Proceed na tayo sa addition or subtraction. So, nauna ang 9 minus 12. Okay? The answer is negative 3 plus 2 is equal to negative 1. And negative 3 plus 2 now is equal to negative 1, which of course equivalent to negative 1. Kaya ang number 7 natin, answer ay true. Okay? Next, number 8. 3 times 8 plus 16 divided by 4 is equal to 28. Parenthesis or grouping symbols, wala. Exponent, wala din. Pero merong multiplication or division. So, unahin natin yung 3 times 8. Okay? What is 3 times 8? 24. So, plus 16 divided by 4 is equal to 28. Meron pang division operation. That is 16 divided by 4. So, ang mangyayari, it's 24 plus 4 is equal to 28. So, what is 24 plus 4? Of course, the answer is 28, which, of course, equivalent to 28. So, answer in number 8 is true. Okay? Number 9. 10 plus 2 plus 4 divided by 4 times the quantity 4 minus 3. Well, sa case na to, meron tayong parenthesis involved. Yun yung 4 minus 3 ang nasa loob. Unahin muna natin yun. Anong mangyayari? 10 plus 2 plus 4 divided by 4 times the quantity 1 is equal to 2. Well, if you notice, meron pa rin akong inilagay na parenthesis. Ibig sabihin, we need to multiply 1 by 4 do sa kalapit. Ano? Kasi nga, connected pa rin sila. So, tingnan natin anong mangyayaring kasunod. It is now 10 plus 2 plus 4 divided by 4 is equal to 2. So, yung 4 times 1 nagkataon ay 4. Okay? Now, merong division sign involved, yung 4 divided by 4. Tanggalin natin, or isolve muna natin yon. So, that is 10 plus 2 plus 1. Bakit naging plus 1? Yung 4 divided by 4 is 1, is equal to 2. Okay? Wala nang multiplication or division sign. Lahat ay addition na lang. So, perform addition. 10 plus 2, the answer is 12. Then, plus 1 is equal to 2. So, what is 12 plus 1? Of course, the answer is 13 equals 2. Tama, mali. Siyempre pa, mali. Okay? Answer sa number 9 ay false. Next, number 10. 11 minus 3 squared plus 3 is equal to 5. Parenthesis or grouping symbols, wala. Pero may exponent na 2 sa 3. Okay? Evaluate natin. Anong ibig sabihin ng 3 squared? The answer is 9. Kasi ibig sabihin nun, 3 times 3. 
So, meron ka ng 11 minus 9 plus 3 is equal to 5. Walang multiplication or division, pero merong addition or subtraction. In this case, nauna ang subtraction, 11 minus 9. That is 2. Then, plus 3 is equal to 5. What is 2 plus 3? Well, syempre pa, 5. Which, of course, equal to 5. Ano ngayon ang sagot sa number 10? Well, the answer is true. So, that is our learning task number 2. Learning task number 3. Problem number 2. 3 plus 4 minus 8 times 2 plus the quantity 4 plus 2. Merong parenthesis involved. Tama? So, uunahin muna natin yung 4 plus 2. Anong mangyayari? 3 plus 4 minus 8 times 2 plus 6. Okay? Wala nang parenthesis. Wala rin namang exponent. Do multiplication or division. Sa case na to, meron tayong 8 times 2. So, anong mangyayari? 3 plus 4 minus 16 plus 6. Saan ang galing ang 16? Sa 8 times 2. So, wala nang multiplication or division. Proceed sa addition or subtraction. Well, meron tayong 3 plus 4. And 3 plus 4 is 7 minus 16 plus 6. Okay? Continue pa rin sa addition or subtraction. Meron tayong 7 minus 16 plus 6. So, 7 minus 16, anong sagot? Ay di negative 9. Okay? Plus 6, the answer is negative 3. So, tingnan nyo lang kung anong letter ang sagot sa problem number 2 ng learning task number 3. Okay? Next, problem number 3. 24 minus 4 squared times 3 plus 15. Parenthesis or grouping symbol, wala. Pero merong exponent. So, evaluate mo yung may exponent na 4. Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin ng 4 squared? So, that is 16. Kaya meron kang 24 minus 16 times 3 plus 15. Okay? So, wala ng exponent. Tama? Pero merong multiplication involved. So, 16 times 3. What is 16 times 3? The answer is 48. Kaya 24 minus 48 plus 15. So, wala ng multiplication or division. Proceed ka sa addition or subtraction. That is 24 minus 48. Nagkataon, ang sagot is negative 24. So, negative 24 plus 15. Anong sagot? The answer is negative 9. So, check mo lang ulit kung anong letter ang sagot sa problem number 3 na ito. Next, problem number 4. Negative 3 plus 8 plus the quantity 3 plus 2. So, merong parenthesis. Nasa loob ay 3 plus 2. So, unahin muna natin. What is 3 plus 2? Tingnan natin. It's negative 3 plus 8 plus 5. Yun. Kasi ang 3 plus 2 ay 5. Okay? Wala nang parenthesis involved. Lahat ay addition. So, unahin natin yung negative 3 plus 8. What is negative 3 plus 8? It's 5. Then, plus 5. Tama? So, what is 5 plus 5? The answer is 10. So, tingnan mo lang ulit kung anong letter yung sagot sa problem number 4. And last problem, problem number 5, eight, quantity 8 minus 3 squared, ano? Minus 25 divided by 5 plus the quantity 5 minus 3. Yun, meron dalawang parenthesis involved. Nagkataon, magkahiwalay. So, pwede natin siyang pagsabayin. Ano? So, ano yung 8 minus 3? Ano yung 5 minus 3? Tingnan natin. 8 minus 3 is 5. So, to the second power, minus 25 divided by 5, then plus 2. Saan ang galing yung 2? Sa 5 minus 3. Okay. Now, dahil meron exponent, evaluate natin yung exponent na yun. Yung 5 squared. Anong ibig sabihin ng 5 squared? 5 times 5. So, that is 25. So, meron ka ng 25 minus 25 divided by 5 plus 2. Kasi nga, 
wala namang number before the parenthesis. Ano? So, I multiply yon 1 times 2, it's 2. Okay? Or simply remove the parenthesis. Okay. Now, meron pang division sign involved. Yung 25 divided by 5. So, i-perform mo muna yon. So, ang mangyayari, 25 minus 5 plus 2. Saan na galing naman yung 5? Sa 25 divided by 5. If you look at the problem, 25 minus 5 plus 2, wala nang multiplication or division. So, proceed ka na sa addition or subtraction, which is 25 minus 5 muna. Okay? Nagkataon na ang 25 minus 5 ay 20. Then, plus 2, the answer is 22. So, anong letter? Yun, ang tamang sagot. Okay? So, this is our week 6 lesson. Muli, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik. Maraming salamat din sa inyong pagsubaybay. Sana patuloy at patuloy kayong mag-comment sa ating uh, comment section sa baba ng ating uh, video lesson. Muli po, maraming salamat sa inyong mathiagang pakikinig upang matuto dito sa aking channel, Sir Joel. But please do not forget to click like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell button for more notifications. Thank you, thank you!